Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got a bunch of these arbors that are in absolutely terrible condition, neglected by myself. Uh, the, this it's, has spent the last year and a half soaking in a pail of old motor oil and it is no closer to coming apart than it, than it was when I put it in there. So today I'm gonna to try something uh, new. Uh, not new to the world, I don't suspect. I've seen other people do it on YouTube but I'm gonna try electrolysis on this thing and see if I can get the rust off it, sure, but also free up these seized collars because they're, they're just glued on there. This whole thing is hardened and ground. Uh, I, I, I really don't wanna hit it with any heat. I'm really concerned that that would just warp it and ruin it. Uh, so I'm gonna try and fix this, if at all possible, without the use of heat. So let's see what happens. Here's a close up of just how gross this thing is and how bad I've let it become. I've got a pretty simple little setup here. You can see I've got my part in this plastic container uh, hanging by a wire from a wrench and I have the negative uh, clamp from a battery charger going to, to that and then down in the bottom there I have what's left of a bolt and I've got that hooked to the positive lead and that should attract all the rust and so on away from the other part once I hit it with the electricity. So now I'm just going to fill this container up. I have this solution of uh, borax and water. And I'm going to make just about as big a mess as I possibly can, of course. Well, let's plug it in and see what happens. I'm not sure if this battery charger is going to like doing this because it's allegedly some sort of a smart ba battery charger. So if it senses that I'm messing with it, which it looks like it is. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll hook a 12 volt battery to this stuff and then run the charger on the battery to keep the battery up while I'm doing it. That should work. Let's give that a go. So here's our little setup. Battery charger charging the 12 volt battery. And I have the negative lead attached to the wrench, which is wired to the part that I want to clean. And then we've got a sacrificial piece down here with the positive connected to it. Now I've only had that hooked up for less than a minute. I'd say less than a minute as of right now. And that thing's already bubbling just like crazy. I think this might, we might be onto something here. We'll see how it goes. So this thing has been going for about a half an hour now. And holy, just look at all that accumulation on our sacrificial piece. Now, it is still bubbling away. Uh, maybe not sort of as aggressively as it was earlier, but something's definitely happening. All that came from somewhere. So that's been about an hour. Uh, I'm gonna let this go all night. I'm really hoping to free those collars up. So we'll check back in a little later, give you another time check, see where we're at. This has been going for four hours now. And just look at that. You can't even tell what that is anymore. It's just a massive glob of stuff. Of course, the water's right filthy, but it's, it's happening. Something's going on in there. There's a scum on top. Looks like what oil was on the part and looks like rust floating there. There's definitely something happening. It's not doesn't seem to be bubbling as, as, uh, as strong as it was early on, but uh, I don't know, we'll give it some more time. We'll see what happens. I know my uh, battery charger was about four and a half amps draw when I started out, and now it's all the way down to one amp. I also don't know why that is. So it's the next day now. It's been a little over 24 hours. Uh, a lot has gone on in there. It's just incredible, really. 
This was a little chunk of, of bolt that we put in there. And this thing, ooh, ooh, wow, that was interesting. Maybe I'll uh, unplug the battery charger. <laughs> Thought I saw a little spark there. All right, disconnect everything. So here's our piece. I mean, in my kind of dream world, these sleeves would just slide right off. It doesn't seem to be happening just yet. You know, I've seen people uh, uh, on YouTube that rinse this off in vinegar. I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. And then some wire brushing. That's actually really doing something. Kind of has a bit of a slimy feel to it. Yeah, that really did something. Might need another another shot at it another run at it i think it seemed to like really bubble and go crazy for about the first eight or ten hours and then it really seemed to calm down and i'm wondering if you know maybe the the solution had changed and become less likely to conduct or something like that because it uh, although this thing kept gathering stuff like look at that Look at the corrosion on that. That thing really took the rust. Took all the rust that was on here by the looks of it. Look at that. That's really cleaning up nice. Wow, what a huge difference. That's impressive. Just gonna take this apart some. Can't wait to show you guys the, the before. Like in the video, I'm gonna show you this and then you're gonna see the before. Here's a close up of just how gross this thing is and how bad I've let it become. Poor bolt, just took it like a champ, eh? It like collected all that rust. All the rust that was on here is now on here. Amazing. Now the sleeves still aren't wanting to come off for me, but they look very, very clean. I'm going to hit this with some rust check and just let it soak for a bit. I'm hoping that that rust bond in between the sleeves and the arbor has, you know, disappeared. And that, uh, that with some oil, these things will free up and come apart. I almost want to grab it with a pair of pliers because it's still slimy. I have like zero grip on this stuff pretty much. I don't want to damage these by prying on them and hammering on them and, you know, pipe wrenching on them and whatever else you might want to do. That's impressive. I might even just get some fresh solution, run it through a second time just to finish cleaning some of this stuff up. It was quite incredible.
All right, that's it for this short video, guys. See you guys in the next one.